What up, y'all? It's the Normies coming at you a little bit of Rick and Morty season four, episode ten. I think it's up in Star Mort Return of Jerry. It's the season finale. It's the season it is finale. a season finale. How are we? What the fuck is this title? Is it the Return of the King? It's a like, return of the Return of the Jedi. Return yeah, of the Jedi. Star oh, Mort, oh, Return. Star Mort. Okay, yeah, sorry. Star, Star Mort. Return Mort. of the Jerry. Return yeah, yeah. of the Jerry. Is Jerry gonna have sex with some with Summer's friend? Is that what's gonna happen in this episode? Why would you assume that? Hey, it's a Return of the Jerry. Because he's a he's a beekeeper now. He's a he's a yeah, he's but a I beekeeper. mean, hold on. apparently that's hot. I don't know. Look, I mean, I fucked the beekeeper once or twice in my life, but that doesn't mean that uh. You know, Jerry's gonna bone a fucking sixteen-year-old. That would be illegal. That would can be. I, illegal. Can I read the descript? Can I read the plot synopsis? Sure. Please do. Parenting is crazy, bro. Stuff straight disappearing in this one, bro. <laughs> right. I love it. Bro. I, love I wonder it. who writes those. We'll see what happened with this one. I just can't believe we're at the finale already. This this flew by. This was good. This was a good. It did freaking, fly by. Like what was this like season or month or I don't know what I call this half like, a four, season. Yeah, yeah, this is like a month, good. month and a half or so. But, like, all the episodes were, like, solid, solid. Yeah. They've been pretty uh, good. What? I thought season three was... Uh, I thought season three was stronger as a whole with a collective of episodes, but there were some really good ones in this season. I think yeah, they I did like pretty them. good in this uh, season. I mean, I dig it because it kind of feels like Rick and Morty is kind of finding its footing after making all the commentary about itself that it needed to, that it's able to figure out, like, how it's going to go on in the future without raising the bar because i think they feel like they need to raise the bar higher and higher and higher but i think this season is the one where they're like all right this is where the bar is at and we can we're gonna dip slightly above and slightly below sometimes but like you're you're just gonna be getting rick and morty like you know what i mean <laughs> yeah 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 True. i mean it's kind of i don't know so they so they've decided to stop raising the bar is what you're saying Chris. <laughs> <laughs> i kind of like i mean I, they can't I like undo that the, they can't keep like surprising everybody like when you try yeah. to build a whole entire thing based off a surprise and you just become a shock jock this isn't howard stern like i, I just want to see them do fun sci-fi goofy shit and be able to like keep doing it consistently yeah without worrying about blowing everyone's mind i agree i mean like i can say the same about south park sometimes after a certain point it stopped becoming like whoa and it's more like hey this is some wacky adventures of some school children or like you yeah. know like some yeah. current parody like a like a like a time capsule of things what's going on things can't be great forever it's mm. gonna be good for mm. a little bit no 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 I, I think they can be great for i'm just saying that like the way that we rated rick and morty's greatness before was like oh my god who knew that any of that was gonna happen you know what i mean but like after well, three seasons I mean, of though. that it can't be that anymore it has your the way you rate it changes and i think yeah, the way they, that they're trying to uh, okay, yeah I just remember that, all those like uh, I just remember all like the causation does not equal correlation deep wisecrack dives philosophically stimulating Rick and Morty episodes like we might be those might just be like a few every season now which is fine I'm fine with that yeah I, mean, I, I yeah. still want that alright well I regardless guys uh, <laughs> no one knows what's gonna happen in this because no one ever knows what's gonna happen nope. this is nope. not a market substitute please support the OG content on your own feel free to support the normies over on Patreon Supporting us on Patreon means that we can do our fun things and our creative endeavors like the cooking show, the podcast, the gaming channel, the skits, the book clubs, all of those things. Everything that's not a reaction is essentially sponsored by Patreon. That's the way that it works. Uh, I have a prediction. Also, you can watch ahead. You have a prediction? Yeah. It's going to be a Star Wars parody. Oh, my God. Okay. And it's going to revolve around Jerry. It has to revolve around Jerry. Jerry's the Death Star, confirmed. (laughs) Let's do this, guys. Return of the Jerry. Is he a Jedi? Is he the Jedi now? Aww. 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 I played it! Buffered hard, but... And we're muted. Sorry. You always buffer uh, hard. starting right away. I love it. My name is Beth Smith. Tell your top bugs the defiance Yeah, we're hurt. Uh, nice eyebrow piercing, no, Beth. We're not. Yeah, we are. <laughs> so sorry. Um, uh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Shit. <laughs> Love it. Maybe you need a break. Don't you ever Ah, the old Death Star parody. Star Wars parody. There's always one. Holy shit. Oh, wait, what? 
Oh back. my god. Are we done? So sure. Beth is Unless clone that's on the earth. I told y'all last week there's still a clone out there. You did? Is this the clone or is this the real one? This is the real one, right? She said the they clone is on the earth. It's the real one. She's the real one. We don't, we, yeah, we, don't, we don't know which one the clone is, really. I don't know. Yeah. I love therapy. Family therapy most of all, but I am actually disintegrating. Uh, Dr. Wong is from Pickle Rick. I think, I yeah, think Dr. Yeah. Wong is from the Pickle Rick episode. You're back. You seem surprised. You never wrote. And never exploded. Wait, it is? What I'm hearing is that you think that's a bomb. Oh, shit. Pokeball. Oh, oh, what? Whoa! Those are Pokeballs. And what the upper reason not to show That's a fucking badass. We're off to Dr. Wong. Scan her. Nah. Mm -hmm. Okay, have fun, pumpkin. Sorry, I'm a piece of shit father. Oh. <laughs> Why am I back with Jerry? I thought she was a copy of me. She is a copy of you. She ran back to that dingleberry. That's on you. Damn. Yeah. Oh my god. Summer, you're god. being weird. Invisible man. Being weird. A creepy stalker. This is great already. This is like a heavy mythology episode. Mom said share. You can't share invisibility. Take those off. <laughs> <laughs> Should I bring a poncho? Alright! Gross. <laughs> Ew! Back, you take the goggles, go away, we trade in an hour. Deal! Cool. How <gasps> do you like that, bitch? Yeah. I like it more than my old belt. Tiny oh. Big Man Jr. Shush here! Tiny Big Man Damn. Jr. Damn. Damn. What are you doing in my house? Oh, yeah. Did I wander that far from my console? So, <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Can sleep with most wanted be first place? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> That's so cool! I want that They fucking <laughs> caught his foot out, drink and put it back. The very boring name. That's clone. What did I say? Yes! Oh, we still don't know. Practice, girls, and remember, we are in a drought. Do you think we'll get a straight answer? <laughs> Probably not. That's fucked up. Oh shit! Whoa! Oh, fuck that shit. You are under arrest for crimes against the new improved Galactic Federation. <laughs> new and improved. Wait, what? How are you doing that? You're not psychic, are you? Yes. Are they strong powers? We're just looking for your mother. You can't like stop our hearts, can you? Uh, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> they immediately surrender. You're being crazy. They do it in therapy oh, on TV. What TV gives British people prizes for baking, Jerry? Oh, Susan Sarandon. Prizes for baking, Jerry. Oh, oh fuck. shit, Tammy. Hi, Miss Tamia. Smith. Tamia. I have a defiance. I'm a clone. <gasps> Automatically. Oh, oh, ah, oh, it just says, say hey. <laughs> That must suck to be the clone. The the that must that suck to be the clone. Alright, uh, this is the best episode <laughs> so far. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa, Demi's dead. Everybody in my family, not the world. Jesus. <laughs> God. <laughs> Tammy's dead. Rick is. This is this is the best episode so far. You're not a clone. And who is that? Uh, the, the a clone. clone. <laughs> is that straight answer? Hey! Hey! <laughs> he told me you're the clone. Why do you think he told me? You're the clone? Wow, naive and attractive. Wow, <laughs> jaded and hot. I you know this is bad parenting, but if you stop fighting, you both get McDonald's. How about I just <laughs> blow my brains out, starting with hers? Okay, Wendy's. We love Wendy's. I think they even gave 
Oh, I hate Wendy's. <laughs> Fucking. Oh, she said that. You're all saying different shit. Wait. <laughs> More importantly, which one is mine? Uh, neither. <laughs> Chauvinist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is fucking great. This is mine. Whoa. That's so good. They know if you're left alone, you're a non-threat. Oofa. We got the payload. Oofa. You might want to do that thing where you find a new universe where you can suck yourself off. Oh. Awesome. He resisted. We can shoot him. Oh my god, like her brain was. Oh just god. Everybody, drop your guns, except for Jerry. Fucking classic. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! Right. Morty! Morty is psychic. That's our art! <laughs> that's our art! You made me go to a wedding. And you killed my best friend. I should have said that one first. <laughs> <laughs> kids, we have to go do a fucking piece of shit Star Wars. Oh my god. <laughs> Love how reluctant he is. So good. <laughs> hey man, this is great. There have been there have been so many Star Wars parodies. Uh, I love that this is his, his reaction to it. Oh, oh, damn. Oh, oh, damn. Well. Hey, you cool. We God. Bro, they've been on this incest shit all fucking season. Jamie is working together is our belt. That's our art. Let's do it. I love this arc thing. Like that's my art. <laughs> that, 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 that's our art. Oh, god. oh my god. Last chance to guess who was the clone. You're his daughter. Something about the eyes, the shameless abandonment of your family. However, can I live with myself? One theory, I was designed by your father to live with myself, which would mean you made a conscious choice to swallow your dreams with cheap wine and dinosaur pasta. You know that's the kind Jerry likes. Same way I know the only goddamn dream you'll ever follow is your shitty father's approval. You fed mm. your shitty father's if, if one of you is still alive, you're my real daughter. Oh my god. Don't hurt the other one, she's just a clone, she's not worth it. Come baby! She's like fucking I'd like to help. Kick me between my eyes. From here? Oh, he dropped yoga so you could buy Jerry more Flintstones by Phoenix person! Is that bird? He's alive! What do they do to you, BP? Phoenix person? Where is that BP? I loved her. Can I suggest as an alternate name, crazy pussy whipped person? <laughs> Holy he shit! Like, he's like shit vultured out. Holy fuck! <laughs> oh. Oh, oh god! god. What the fuck? Like oh my god! Holy what shit! This is fucking protector. sweet. Uh, <laughs> right? Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Then you were always a bad friend. <laughs> See that before I do. That Mortal Kombat? He had a Damn. metal armor around his heart just in case. Fucking hard. <laughs> that was like a Mortal Kombat ripoff, I think. Yeah, it did seem like Mortal Kombat, like the zoom ins they do when you're like breaking their bones. If anyone's around, they're here to yeah. stop the laser and they can't do it without us seeing them. Working together is our belt. You gave it away! You said we didn't eat it. I wish you were never born. You were an accident! <gasps> <gasps> God. What happened to your arc? The NX5 can't destroy Wrangler jeans. Like it literally can't destroy jeans. <laughs> the fucking War of the Worlds. Because <laughs> it's brought to you by Wrangler, so it can't destroy Wrangler jeans. <laughs> oh my god. This is an epic ass fucking fight. This is a battle to the death. God. Yeah, that's not really good. Oh shit, go Rick! You feel good bug for a horse doctor. Thanks. Maybe we could do like a parent trap thing together sometime. As long as you bring the Lindsay Lohan version. That's surely. That's the best version. It's not about conserving denim. It's marketing. Like the NX5 destroys the whole planet except for the Wrangler Jean. Lindsay Lohan was in a lot of those remake movies. Stupid. With gimmicks. 
Mm. You're right. They, they got me. Hey, over here! Look at me! Did you just see a pantsless little boy run by? I'm not falling for that again. I used to be invisible, <laughs> but now I'm the opposite! Get him! But well, not in a weird way. You made it weird. <laughs> <laughs> you made it weird. <laughs> Did I say sponsor? Oh my god! Come on! Come on! Come on. We're, do you think they're really sponsored by Wrangler? Like this, the episode? I love it! <laughs> Why can't I meet your parents? Are you embarrassed of me? No, of them. Aww. Jesus! No! Fuck oh. me! Oh my god! Until we kick his ass, bird person. My name can you is close my person. No one's calling you that, dumb. It fascinates me that an entire family can be this critical and suck this money. <laughs> How is Rick not dead? Rick's, I mean, you know, he's got all that sci-fi shit by going on. All his guts out. What the fuck is going on? It's me, that Tammy girl. Tammy. This is unexpected. Jerry. I was told you were dead. That is Jerry? absolutely not true. Jerry? Yeah, the Jerry? Jerry. You're behaving rather strangely. Let me give you some of this sweet ass. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck? Jerry. You did more than hey. Oh, that's it? It's off button? It's an off <laughs> button? <laughs> How did Rick not see the off switch? Look at your little ball. I know. I'll forgive you for abandoning us if you let me try it. That works for me. I was just gonna give you space cigarettes. You love having two moms. I love having two wives. Never gonna happen. Oh, Jerry, God no. What's this, Dad? The memory of which Beth is real and which Beth is a clone. Obviously. You mind blew yourself. Of course you don't. Why am I? I don't care what's in that vial. The truth is, we have more important shit to do, like raise our kids and stamp out the Federation. Neither of which seem like they want anything to do with you. <laughs> Damn. You got, you, got you gotta at least want to know who your real mom is. Not really, Rick. We have two badass moms now. That's kind of a win-win. Background, Rick. Don't drag us into your bullshit just because you're losing control. Damn. <laughs> oh, shit. I want you to decide. What? For once in my life, I want you to decide, Dad. Do you want me to stay here and be part of your life, or do you want me to leave? <laughs> so, uh, oh, big money, big money. <laughs> big money, big money. He doesn't know. I tried to follow. Oh, shit, oh. I'm a terrible father. Damn, this is actually really good. I'm a pretty good friend. Looks like it's just you and me, buddy. Okay, all right, we'll give you a little more time. This music is really good. Hurry, 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 hurry. Oh, that is shit. so. Holy shit. Yeah, that was up. really yeah. good, guys. God damn. You guys there? He did the old. Mixaru didn't even want to know himself. Don't forget, the there's credit. an end credits. This is a good fucking episode. This is a man. good song. Mm -hmm. Nate Shazam did. It's okay. The song is called "Don't Look Back." I'm breaking my old friend. No, don't no! throw it away, Jerry. <gasps> Somebody call for a pickup. Let's go take out the trash. Leave it there? Oh yeah. my god. Someone, <laughs> someone else is gonna <laughs> run into it and the whole gas station is gonna blow You're ridiculous. Man. It's a good the franchise. More, the more I'll get it. I, 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 Jerry, Jerry is like destructive, bro. Uh, seriously. <laughs> like, he just threw away the belt. Oh, what the fuck, man? We needed oh, that belt. I still understand how the belt made the well, whole fucking Everything I said before this episode is completely I invalid. I did, apparently. That was so mm. funny. I would, I, I would watch that spin off, like picking hey, up pimps and shit. Guys, I think that song that we listened to is a is called Don't Look Back, and it's from Rick hmm. and Morty. It's a, it's a Rick and Morty, yeah, it's it's just for the season, I think. No, it literally says Rick and Morty featuring no, Maybe they wrote Kotomi the song for the season. Oh, um, nice. Guys, I know what I said before this. It's called Don't Look Back. And I back. think it's all... 
invalid. This is a really Amira, weird, no. like they even it, they've been trying not to like do the whole story, but they're doing the story. Yeah, there. there's out. It's yeah. there. It's there. Even Morty's still out there. You know, the Federation rebellion's happening still. I don't know. That's uh, it's that was cool. And I, I just, I just feel like this season was just to kind of like not have us worry about that. That's all in the background. It's still happening. You know what I mean? Like, fucking uh, come back to come. Yeah, dude. She's like mm-hmm. out there and she's fucking you know still fighting for the Federation. But I feel like next season we might see more of it no. now, dude. I mean, it's like been introduced it's tight, like, again. I, the thing with uh, Jerry on. not knowing which of the daughters is real was really, 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 really awesome. Also, the end of this one reminded me of the end of the uh, yeah. the assimilation one with uh, Unity, uh, where he was like almost suiciding, but he was too drunk to keep his head in that fucking thing or whatever. But like he was just sad and sitting there really contemplating and like Rick kind of yeah. revisiting like who he is as a shitball person is is a tight moment. This like was a more. This is probably one of the saddest moments Rick has had or realizations because the end of season two made it seem like it was like this because yeah. he was like I'm going to turn myself in, but then the season three premiere revealed yeah. that that was just kind of a ruse to like, like he had this big plan to just kill the Federation. So this this was probably like the saddest Rick moment of him and him getting ready to bring Bird Person father. back is yeah. going to be really cool when he's like I'm yeah, a shit no. father, but at least I'm a decent friend. Because I mean Squanchy's gone. Like we I don't do I don't even remember what happened to Squanchy. Did he die at the wedding? But like, uh, just Squatch. you know, it, bird person <laughs> like his only. Friend. I don't know. I don't. I don't I think mean, Phoenix person will come back. I don't think he will come back. I think that was like. I mean, he's fucucking he's Rick tried, Sanchez. Like, I, I guarantee you, he's got no. some kind of sci-fi weirdness he can do to fucking bring this motherfucker back. You know, they'll yada yada some bullshit. I loved all the yeah. weird Rick gadgets that he used Bro, to like keep himself thing. alive. Yeah. Like, we're even looking at his. When all of his yeah. guts fell out, they looked weird. It looked like one of them was a canister or something. Like I, I don't even know. Like he's so rigged up on the inside, it's ridiculous. Like, yeah, it was like an extra like alcohol pouch. I swear to God, mm-hmm. like two. It was like, like it was like a yeah. uh, flask, like spilling on the side. <laughs> the whole thing was amazing because like not only they were having fight, but even the side bugs were having their side stories on the side. And, yep. Like there was a whole story. Yeah. It was like, oh, are you embarrassed to sh- like show me your parents? Like, no, I'm embarrassed like of them, <laughs> not of you. <laughs> they, they did Tim so wrong. Did, uh, I mean, yeah, bro. She probably scanning her face and shit. I was like, holy fuck. They did it so wrong. This <laughs> shit's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking. Um, my favorite thing. Sorry, go ahead. I was just saying the fact that Jerry's willing to like puppet a dead body is fucked up, but he held it down. Also, like they've got two moms now. Jerry was excited he's going to get a double wife threesome, which I think is probably the most ideal. No, Jerry. It's never going to happen, Jerry. No, that's not yeah. going to happen. But I like yeah. how Beth and Morty <laughs> took it. Like, yeah, the two moms. They're both cool. Cool. We're going to have them. Like, I don't, we right. don't want to know which one's cool. Yeah, I see. That's, that was my favorite thing. Yeah. Of, that's their arc. That's, I was supposed to say my favorite <laughs> that, that, thing that's about this was uh, Summer and Morty, like, becoming close for a little bit, and then, you know, that was their arc. They're trying to find their arc, like, oh, and they kept changing yeah. it. <laughs> And then, like, the mom comes up, and she's like, oh, Marty, you little balls. She's like, I know. <laughs> and she's like, I Look know. at your little balls, so Marty. <laughs> so, so, someone, I can't remember, someone, I think, complained about how Rick always has these unrealistic gadgets and stuff yeah. but i mean it makes sense obviously he has an invention for everything so this episode like i really enjoyed seeing mm-hmm. that fight animation like i thought like more of that that's really cool it was creative and like still kept me uh, on my toes also, he was getting yeah. back yeah. Out the yeah. frame, like, yeah. like, and, and it's like and, uh, yeah, yeah most of it's like tubes and shit like oh god actual Ugh. tubes Honestly, like i don't know guys, what's you can throw any gadgets in this show, like, Morty, I mean, Rick can do any kind of, like, whatever, gadget, spaceship, whatever, whatever have you, because, like, he can. Like, Rick is essentially, like, a godish kind of level. Like, I mean, he you know fought I mean? He's just, God. He's definitely smart. And, and he, he's, like, I'm not, like, I'm, like, saying god I don't want to say he's godish, but, like, he's just smart, and he can, like, if he really put his mind to something, he can, like, accomplish it. You know? He's <laughs> just, like, I'm just saying, like, I don't know. He, he's OP. But. I mean, he's definitely fucking OP. He is, but I, I like yeah. he he was pushed yeah. to the brink in this one, uh, which I enjoyed seeing. It was cool. So is Wrangler cool. yeah, really cool. sponsoring this episode? <laughs> <laughs> which would I'm looking up right now. Maybe. Hey guys, <sighs> like, that was just crazy. It was a Wendy's hey, mention too. Mahid, what are you? Hey guys, I'm gonna chime in and give my last. I gotta go to the bathroom really bad. I'm gonna chime in and give you guys my last thoughts. I've been like holding in. 
Guys, <laughs> it was fucking hilarious. I do think the Wrangler and Wendy might have been, because I feel like those are the only, I feel like Rick and Morty is like the only fucking cartoon out there that can literally get all these sponsorships and like be legit with it, because they, they do it so fucking well, so... I'm going to agree with them. I think they are, those are real sponsorships. Amazing. And second of all, I think, uh, I don't know, I'm really excited to see what happens in the next season because I really, really want them to dive more into the fucking Federation shit and get, see Evil Morty. Like, I feel like we've been, like, straying away from all that. And, uh, yeah, I hope that happens next season. This season was really, really good. Very, That's very great. funny. That's great. Um, There's a lot of really interesting stuff. And just even introducing, like, the fucking invisibility belt, which seemed like it was going to be a non-plot excuse me but became like a total plot like i don't know man this has just been a uh, been good shit i and i like that we still don't have an answer no one knows which beth is a clone and no one no. knows which beth is real <laughs> which essentially like means like me if up, you don't though, know but... the difference like does it matter yeah it uh, also it's like do they even care at this point because yeah. the one thing that they and, knew for no for like, sure like, is like, they're they're all like agreeing to it. Like, rick still doesn't cool. know they're i mean he like, could watch okay that video it. and he could yeah. track which pod was which like you know what i mean to figure it out but he doesn't. Also, Morty creeping on the uh, fucking cheerleaders. Get your shit together, Morty. So, going back to, like, Rick being yeah, shitty father, father, is he, though, like, he actually gave his... I know he's shitty father, but in this instance, yes. he created a clone <laughs> and gave the option to his daughter to do both. She wanted to stay behind with the kids and not leave them behind, but at the same time, go have adventures. So... He created both, and now they came together. She, he didn't really expect them to come together this way. But in the end, Beth kind of got both, you know, like she actually had adventures and she's still there on the earth with her family. I don't think she wasn't expecting her to go back to Jerry. Yeah. That's a whole different but, like, side. She yeah. left it up to her dad to make the decision. You know True. what I mean? And like he doesn't and he doesn't even know like what decision yeah. he made. And even though he kind of still did, he deleted the memory. So like it, like he couldn't live know, with like, the choice on say, his own because like, consistently he's yeah. been like if. Like, think about it. Rick is one of, he's the smartest man in the universe, right? He can do all this crazy shit. He can jump timelines and do whatever he wants, but he can't make a decision about if he's going to, like, let his daughter stay the clone or let her go into space. Like, he can't actually choose this one thing. You know what I mean? Like, it shows, like, a True. flaw in him I mean, that is. Hey, I mean, who would? Shit. Who would? Like, if your daughter comes and tells you to make a choice, that's a hard choice to make. So, at the same time, like, him not knowing which one's a clone, so he doesn't want to put himself in a place where, like, he, he wants to have both, makes both of them bet. Like, regardless which one a clone, have that same experience, because, I don't know, like, I think it would have been shitty if he knew which ones was exactly the clone, so he knows which one to, like, kill if needs to be. But in this instance, she, he doesn't, so he can't kill either one of them, because either one of them would be his daughter, so both of them are equal in his eye. Mm. In that kind of weird way, but like, it's like, he can't, he can't no, no, kill either one mean. of them. I, I, I can see what you're talking about. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah. He wanted to have the best of both worlds, but also like, he didn't want to decide and, that for her because he didn't know what was actually best for her, but I don't know. I think Beth wanted her father to, to like yeah. say that he wanted her around. So I'm looking, just trying, if she like, can't make a choice, he answer. can't make a choice either. Like in the end of the day, like that's a hard choice. Like, yeah, leave your family and go on an adventure. I'm but looking your family at the, needs uh, you. I'm looking at the frame where uh, Rick is switching their brains or like molding, moving the memories. And there's a memory of a uh, little baby Beth with the mom who we have never actually seen her face, mm. but it's just the back of her head. She's super blonde yeah. and it's a uh, Beth's birthday party. Oh, yeah. Like, the three memories yeah. that they show is her getting nice. married to Jerry, the birth of Marty, Morty, nice. and uh, Beth's uh, little birthday party that she remembers. Yeah. <laughs> He's done that before. He did that with, um, oh, the ABCs of Beth, actually, right? Yeah, when, uh, with the, uh, the kid who was making those fruity land babies and fucking and eating them. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Fucking fruity land. This show uh, will just bring back any random thing, any one-off yeah, thing from a though. random episode. It's so, good, so is that the three memories that make Beth? Like, her, like the, three the three things, things that, that define her? her. Maybe that grab what I mean, her what, just because fucking family. Summer is a mistake? She can't, I, you know, no, 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 no. I just think those are the three that he show. Yeah, I mean. Um, so they don't have a sponsor with Wrangler, but they do have a sponsor with Wendy's. Damn. <laughs> oh. So that's why they threw in Wendy's, and then like they had, they threw in a fun line for Susan Sarandon in this, um, when she goes, "I'm better as Dr. Wong." She goes, "I'm better than this job." 
which is a reference to her yeah. like being a legendary actress and only having like a three sentence cameo on a late night show. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> well, Wrangler, I Damn, love man. your Jeeps. They are amazing. Sponsor us. We will love to have them. Yeah, right. And the fucking. Yeah. Did you say I jeans? Know, right. Oh fuck and no! Leave my gang all day. You better get out of here. No what? jeep. I, I, I love the cars. Did you, see, did you guys see? What? Did you guys? What is great? Did you guys see War of the Worlds? Yes, yes, I have. Yes, yes, yes. One hundred. Did you notice how all the people getting zapped away, like their their clo- their jeans yep. and clothes? <laughs> I, I always wonder, like, how, what, what is this ancient alien technology that can keep the clothes? Like, I don't know. Well, so. you know, they made the technology before clothes were invented, so they couldn't. Dis- they, it only disintegrates uh, people material, not clothes. I like, like how the guy was going, like just the jeans. Like, do we have it? Like, it can't do it, or did we do it that way? Like, is there an option? Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. a, this is a really good questions. episode. They kept uh, hitting at like Rick not wanting to do Star Wars. I, I like that uh, when Rick has to kind of be like a reluctant hero on some shit. It, it's pretty cool. This is I don't know. This was just fun, all in all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was fun. My favorite, was my favorite like, line I was after he killed Tammy and he was like, "You invited me to a wedding." He was like, "And you, <laughs> and you killed my best friend." I should have said that first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See where his priorities lie. <laughs> you know, <I> mean, <laughs> hilarious. This episode was uh, great. I will rewatch well, it. Well, like, there's so I hope much happening. Yeah. To like, it was fucking awesome. You know, put out a new show, a new new season or episodes. So. Three years. They will. No, they will years. no, no, <laughs> no. All right, guys. Yeah. All right. This was great. I hope this y'all had fun. All right, everybody. Well, Bye. miss you. We'll see you next time, Rick and Morty fam. Bye. Yeah, bye. 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 Thank you all so much for watching the season finale of Rick and Morty. We'd like to give a special shout out to our super patrons, Eleanor, Joe Mags, Lauren, Michael, Nick Comfort, Ruby Tiger, Dangerous, Neptub, Quentin Martin, Exploring Dylan, Liam Dyer, and Pavi. Thank you all so much and have an awesome week.